Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am gonna be taking you guys through a Dunelm store tour today. Dunelm is actually one of my favorite places to get home stuff from because they have a really good variety of stuff. They have a lot of new in items. They stay up to date with all the trends and stuff. And they are also super affordable as well. So this is the first time that I've been in store for a very, very long time. There was a lot of really nice stuff in store. So let me show you guys what I saw. So in our local Danelm, the first bit you see when you walk in is always this dormer section. This is great to just see loads of different kind of bedding, curtains, things like that put together, see how they'd work. This is quite an expensive section, but I did see these kind of wicker vases. They were £25, which I actually thought was a really, really good price considering the quality and the size of them as well. These would be perfect to fit maybe like some pampas grass or something like that in. I did also look at some of their bedding. They have so many different colors. All of these were like really, really nice kind of textured pieces. They are really expensive, so definitely more of a kind of investment piece for your home, but I'm sure they would definitely be worth it. One set in particular that caught my eye was actually this one here. It's like a really nice warm gray color and it has a kind of linen-y texture to it. I also got suckered in by this dark gray quilted set as well. I just thought this looked really, really high quality and luxury. I moved on to Dunelm's more kind of general bedding section. They have some really, really fun bedding as well as some just staple items as well. I love this tufted black and white set. And they also had a lot of these really fun polka dot sets, all of these like really, really affordable as well. If anyone is on the lookout for some really nice faux eucalyptus, definitely check out Darnell. Each of these stems were two pounds, but they're actually quite full stems, so you wouldn't need as many of them. They had a variety of different ones, and eucalyptus are definitely my favorite, um, but most of them were around the two pound mark, some of them were one pound 50. Dunham's plain dye bedding section is actually really, really good. Our under sheets on our bed are actually from here. They are non-iron, they're really, really easy to look after. They wash really well and also they have a huge selection of colours as well and they're super affordable. I also spotted this bedding set. I thought it was really, really sweet. I love the kind of washed out print on this. It's a little bit more of a kind of farmhousey style for my liking, but I did still think it was really cute. Another section I always check out is the basket section. They have so many good choices in here as well. These cream rope style ones caught my eyes. I thought they looked really good quality. They're a pretty good size as well, and they were only 15 pounds. They've got a really good range of kind of simple staple ones, but also some really fun ones like this. I love the kind of like little tassel bits on this. That was £10. And these wicker ones were a set of three for only £10. I love these more industrial style ones as well. I thought these would be perfect for pantry storage. They were £10 a basket, but they are quite big. I was eyeing up this waste paper bin for my sister's office. This was a little cork bin for 10 pounds. Generally speaking, their bins were about 10 to seven pounds, but they had a really good range from like wicker ones, industrial ones.
I also never noticed how many options of handles they had in Dunelm. I'd never seen this section before, but they have some really, really cute like doorknobs. These ones were a really nice kind of pearly effect with like a chrome outer. Two pounds for a pair, I thought was honestly an absolute bargain. They had like terrazzo ones, chrome, gold, whatever you want, some really nice kind of statement knobs here. So if you've got maybe a little upcycle project you're working on, it's definitely worth looking at something like this to kind of dress it up a little bit. I also came prepared, we were looking at curtains for my sister's bedroom. So I was just looking at the paint samples up against these fabric ones. These were really, really soft and also they are blackout. So definitely worth the money. The cushion section at Dunelm is crazy good. They have some really, really nice options here. I saw this macrame style one, which I thought was really, really cool and unique. That was £18 for the cushion cover and the insert. They have so many kind of neutral textured cushions. These ones were so nice. I was really, really tempted. 12 pounds and they're a really unique kind of rectangular shape. Very kind of boho style. I love these ones next to it as well. Another kind of textured pinstripe style cushion in black and cream that was 12 pounds. This is just to show you the variety of different kind of textured cushions they have there. Honestly, there are so many. They kind of range from like 10 to 18 pounds. I think that's actually a really, really good price. I have cushions from here and they are really good quality. I also noticed this cushion here. This isn't actually really my style, but this is something that seems to be very, very in right now with these kind of organic abstract shapes. This was very good quality, it was 18 pounds. Um, and I think it's definitely worth the money for the quality, just not something that I could envisage in my own home. It's also worth just checking out the cushion cover section. A lot of the cushions I just showed you, you can just buy the covers. Obviously, if you already have cushions and you just want to switch up a cover, this is a way more affordable way to do it. The selection of lighting is also insane. There are so many to choose from, loads of different price ranges as well. I really liked all of these kind of natural ones. I fell in love with these kind of three tier cane ones for 40 pounds. They also had a more kind of affordable woven kind of style for £25. And then they also had these really nice kind of black industrial ones, which were £32. I also noticed they had a lot of kind of ceramic and textured lamp bases as well, which is something I've never seen from them before. I really like this diamond style one that was £35. It honestly looked really, really good quality, not something that I would presume is from Danelm. This one here matches that kind of dormer vase that I showed you at the very beginning of the video. This was £42, really nice kind of simple coastal vibe. And this kind of textured ceramic glaze seems to be so in right now. This one was £28 and it looked really, really good quality. I also noticed they started doing these little cotton rugs for three pounds. This is something really similar to what Ikea do. They have a few different color options as well, which is really great. Onto the rugs. This is normally a section that I seem to see so much stuff I love. This time, I feel like there wasn't as much stuff catching my eye. But one rug that I did see in particular that I absolutely loved was this 
woolen kind of pebble style rug. These rugs do tend to be a lot more pricey, but they are so nice and soft. They also stock a lot of these mirrors, which have a really nice kind of slimline black metal frame. This huge um, circle one was only 55 pounds, but they also have loads of different kind of sizes, shapes. I have like an oval one for 45 pounds here, as well as smaller circle ones for 25 pounds. There are also more budget options as well, like this one was only £10 and the even smaller one was £8, so super affordable. Onto the furniture section, they had quite a few new bits in here. One thing that I actually saw online before I came to store was this here. This is like a black chest of drawer unit. It's pretty small, um, but I thought it was really, really cool. I like this kind of washed wood and cane style with the gold handles, something that is very, very in fashion right now. It was also available in a bedside table and also a TV unit as well. Out of all the furniture I saw in Dunelm, this is the one that grabbed my eye the most. I honestly thought this looked really, really expensive. I love that you can see the wood grain through it, even though it is black. It's £100, so not the cheapest for a bedside table, but I honestly think it's like a showstopper piece. They also did it in a really nice kind of washed out oak colour as well. They had a really good selection of kind of really unique bedside tables as well. This one here really caught my eye. Again, a little bit more expensive at 120 pounds, but they honestly look so unique. I also thought this would be so sweet for a hallway and really practical as well. Provides good storage, also a good seating area when you're kind of putting your shoes on, ready to go out the door. I've never seen these before either. They had so many of these kind of cotton rugs in loads of different colors, patterns. Um, some of these were like seven pounds, some were 25, depending on the size. But again, a really, really good price. Um, and it has that nice kind of textured boho vibe to it. I absolutely fell in love with this deck chair here. I thought it looked such good quality, really, really classy. Couldn't find a price tag on it. Came back, Googled. I think it's about 80 pounds which is so expensive but they did have this one here which was 35 pounds more of a kind of like new england nautical vibe um but yeah the black and gray one just had my heart i just can't justify spending that much on a deck chair but they also had a really really good range of um, faux plants for indoors and outdoors as well as loads of different plant stands and things like that i saw this one here which was 70 pounds this would be perfect if you have a small garden or a balcony and you want to add some plants in. And next to it, they also had this planter, which was absolutely huge. It's a willow planter for 20 pounds. I was extremely tempted to get this because honestly, I thought that was an incredible price for what it was. I was also very tempted by this table runner. Again, really nice kind of textured style runner for £16. I just thought that was so unique. They always seem to have an amazing range of um, kind of vases and planters and stuff in here. I love this kind of black and cork one for £10. This jug, I have seen so many people rant and rave about this. This weighed a ton, I kid you not. It felt insane quality, really nice kind of vintage style. And it was only 15 pounds. Really tempted to get this, but I just don't really have anywhere to put it right now. So I had to leave it behind. They also had some amazing, just plain glass vases as well, ranging from about five pounds to 20 pounds. This one here was my favorite. I really, really love this shaving, only £10. 
you can see these new end pieces this is something that seems to be a bit of a craze at the moment is this kind of double bowl style so they had some of those in there for a really good price i also love this plant with those little feet i thought that was really really sweet So that was obviously just a snippet of a few different bits I saw that I thought were really nice, but the amount of stuff they have in store is amazing. Um, I really had to refrain. I didn't really need any big things at the moment, but I obviously couldn't resist and I picked up a couple of little bits. So first thing that I got was actually cushion covers. I saw this one. I have had my eye on a similar style one for so long. I absolutely love, I mean, you guys know what my kind of style is. It's very kind of like neutral. I like a lot of hints of black and things like that. So I saw this cushion cover. It's a really nice kind of um, textured neutral color. And then you obviously have this black threading running through there with the little kind of tufted bits. I honestly think that this looks really expensive. Um, it looks it looks like it could be handmade or something. And I actually really recommend going to Dunelm for cushion covers or cushions in general. I have some other textured ones upstairs in my lounge. Um, and yeah, they're really good quality and they're really not very expensive at all. So this one was a 43 by 43 centimeter cushion cover. It was eight pounds. I actually got two of them. So I've already put a cushion inside this one. One of my top tips is actually when you buy cushion covers and insert separately, always buy a cushion that's a bit bigger than it needs to be. It does actually specify on the label that you should put a 45 centimeter insert in this, but the bigger the cushion, the more kind of like nice and fluffy it's gonna be. There's nothing worse than having a cushion that, that doesn't quite fill the cover. So if you want that really nice kind of plumped plush look, size up on your cushion insert and actually i would recommend if you're purchasing from Danelm or even places like ikea you can buy them separately buy the cushion and the insert separate because the ones that i have in my lounge which are from Danelm, i bought them as a set i bought them as like a cushion cover and an insert and the insert is not quite big enough for that cushion size so i actually had a cushion insert spare which was really handy so yeah i've got to put this one obviously in as well and then i couldn't resist i picked up another cushion cover and i actually thought this would look really nice with the other um, cushion covers that i just showed you it's another really simplistic kind of textured one same kind of neutral colors with like the black yeah i just think this looks really nice and i actually thought it would look really nice kind of layered up as well so this one's a little bit bigger. It's 50 centimeters by 50. This was 10 pounds. It's really good quality though. Like backing on this is a dark kind of, not linen -y, but it's a nice kind of textured fabric. It has a zip fastening. And I thought these would look great layered up together on our sofa. One thing I have to bear in mind, these are actually for our sofa down here in the kitchen. And this is where our dogs sleep at night. Milo is a little bit of a chewer. Um, so anything with, tassels pom-poms anything like that is a no-go but i thought these would actually work out really well be really dog proof um they're nice and kind of versatile yeah really good quality as well so i'm really really chuffed with those and the only other thing that i got bearing in mind that i didn't really go into with anything in mind to buy anything i just wanted to kind of have a look and get some inspiration um in case you guys don't know i am doing some work on my sister's house i will link some of the videos here in case you've missed those but i mainly went in with her to go and look at stuff for her house but i saw this and i couldn't i just couldn't leave this behind this was only three pounds so i know they do something very similar in ikea but i honestly thought this one looked a little bit more expensive it's a kind of doormat sized rug um, I don't even have anywhere to put this, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, but it's this really nice, it's 100% cotton. It's this nice kind of woven textured kind of rug with the black lines running through it. And it has this 
tassel detailing on the edge but i just couldn't believe this was only three pounds so this would obviously be good as like an entryway kind of small rug or even it could work really well in like a bathroom um literally anything i don't know where i'm gonna put it i need to find somewhere for it they actually had a few different colorways as well so i went for the natural and the black stripe they also had a natural with a natural stripe and then they also had one with a yellow stripe the yellow stripe's not really my vibe i got the black one my sister actually picked up the natural one we both absolutely loved them but yeah i just thought three quid was an absolute bargain you can just chuck it in the um washing machine as well so if you did want to use it as a kind of front door mat then it's super practical as well so you can definitely see the kind of color vibe i have going on here very very boring boring and neutral but i just couldn't leave them behind so yeah if you guys are looking for some great kind of home and decor finds definitely go check out Donnell. i would seriously recommend i have bought so many things from them over the years and yeah i absolutely love them also the lighting section really good variety but yeah i hope that video has been interesting for you guys if you have enjoyed it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upcoming video and until next time i will see you guys later